Hey everyone, this is Emily Pond with United Country and I am uh, just off the Cardville Road in Greenbush. This is eight acres of raw land. Really nothing's been done to it. Uh, there's no well, no septic. There's, there's the potential for power, but you would have to run in a few poles in order to get it in here. I would say probably five or six poles to get it in and, and down this road to this point. So if you like this video and you would like to see more, please hit like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. This lot is part of a subdivision, which means that it has, it has a plot plan, it has been surveyed. Uh, we've got one of the stakes right here. Um, the lot, like I said, has been surveyed, and as you go through the lot, you can see there's pink markings all the way through. The lot, it actually starts out a little bit narrower, and then it goes back quite a ways. It, it's flush on one side, but on the other side, it kind of goes at an angle. So it would be hard to see by the film. Um, this starts out fairly level. And then it gradually kind of goes uphill just a little. It's not a huge elevation change, but there is a little bit of an, of an elevation change as you get closer to the back of the lot. Um, as you can see, it's pretty densely um, forested, but a lot of them are really small trees. So it wouldn't, it wouldn't take a whole lot to, you know, clear yourself a spot for your cabin, home, whatever you want to build. So here we are about midway on the lot. It's, it all seems dry and I think maybe it's because of the elevation change because it's, it's kind of like higher ground. Uh, there's not a lot of wet spots out here. Uh, I, you know, I don't think you'd have any trouble building on most of this lot. I want you to just listen for a second. There's really no noise out here. Uh, it's mostly just the wind. There are a couple neighbors but they're quite a ways away. You'd have plenty Plenty of peace and quiet, I think, out here on this land. So this would be closer to the back of the lot. Um, like I said, it's, it's really dry out here. Like this would normally be part of the season when you would see mud if you were going to see a lot of uh, moisture and there really just isn't so this is a it's a pretty dry lot um, and it is quite level like there it, there is a bit of an elevation as you come back but then it levels out uh, still still a lot of small tree growth the asking price for this eight acre lot is 33.9 the yearly taxes on it are 203 dollars just a couple miles from here is the Penobscot River which is the second largest river in Maine uh, the Penobscot is great for fishing um, smallmouth bass, landlocked salmon, uh, white perch. It's a, it's a great boating river. So Greenbush is about 15 minutes to Old Town, and Old Town has quite a few uh, grocery stores, big stores, um, a lot of the stuff that you might need. But then if you go another 20 minutes from that, you're going to hit Bangor with all its um, larger stores. Pretty much anything that you might need, you can get in Bangor. So this is the Penobscot River. Uh, this boat launch is about two miles from that property in Greenbush. One of the great things about Maine is the fact that you are usually within a couple miles of, of a body of water that you can go fish or you can put a boat into and go for a ride. There's, there's large tracts of land to hunt. We've got Mount Katahdin, so we've got beautiful mountains to climb. So just to recap, this is eight acres of surveyed land because it's part of a subdivision. The asking price is $33.9. The yearly taxes are $203. There is no power currently, but some could be put in if you added like five poles to come in. Uh, we are about 35 minutes from Bangor. Thank you for joining me today in Greenbush. If you'd like more information on this property or any of our listings, please call 207-794-6164.